Do you find yourself wasting time making the same or similar Trello cards over and over? If you want to save time managing all of your projects or starting new projects in seconds, then creating Trello templates is the answer. Today, I'm going to be talking about everything you need to know about Trello templates. And in this video, I'll guide you through how to use card templates and board templates so you don't have to start from scratch each time. Let's get into it. We are starting off at the card level of the board. For this demo board, we have a few different lists. We have an ideas list, a to-do list, a doing list, a complete list, and a template list. I like to have a separate list for all of my templates so they don't get mixed in with my other cards, but you can also store your templates wherever you want. Starting off, let's say you have a ton of idea cards in your ideas list. Now think about your processes for projects that are repetitive or require the same steps each time. Or think about repetitive multi-step projects in your business that often reoccur. Those ideas or processes are what you want to turn into template cards. For example, if you post a piece of content each week where you need to one, come up with the topic and content, two, film a video, three, write a caption, four, upload a video, and five, promote it via email and social media, you can see creating a piece of content has a bunch of subtasks. Or maybe you have steps when you're onboarding a new client or project, or maybe you have a way of processing your new ideas before you move them to your to-do list. Just think of anything that you do that's repetitive. Now let's go ahead and create a template card. We're gonna use the create a piece of content example to start. You could create a new card called create weekly video. This card represents the weekly piece of content that you need to create. Once you enter the card, you can add your checklist of all the subtasks that it requires to complete this project. So let's go ahead and add the tasks I mentioned before. So one, come up with a topic and content, two, film a video, three, write a caption, four, upload a video, and five, promote via email and social media. Now you can add any attachments or reference files you need using the attachments button or list extra notes in the description. You can also add any labels for tagging using the labels button. So I'll go ahead and add the content creation label, or you can use any name that you want. You can also add members using the members button. If certain people are always responsible or require notification on this project, you're gonna to wanna to add them as a member. Now, once everything is set how you want it, go right into the column and select make template button. As you can see, a few things on the card have changed. You can see the template button has a green check next to it. And on top of the card, you can see a blue stripe has been added that says, this is a template card. Now a button has also appeared that is clickable that says create card from template. If you want to create a new card from this template, this is where you're going to click. If I exit out of the card, you can see on the cover, a blue strip is visible on the card saying, this card is a template. So creating a template is very easy. Now let's use the template card. Let's say you wanna start a new content idea for the week. So you'll click on create weekly video card. From there, all you have to do is click on the blue button that says create card from template. And then a small menu will pop up. Let's say this week's video is on Trello productivity basics. I'll type in Trello productivity basics video. Now you can choose what you wanna keep and what you don't wanna keep whenever you make a new card. Chances are you want to keep everything, so keep everything checked. Then select on the dropdown where you want the card to appear. So I'll go ahead and select my list. From there, just hit create card and your new card will appear. If you click into the card, you can see all the checklists, labels, and attachments have been copied as well. The nice part about this template is if down the line you end up needing to add more steps or remove steps or change any part of the process, all you have to do is click on the template card and then make the changes that you want or update the card itself. Let's say you want to add a template right into a list. You don't wanna to have to hunt around for a template card and Trello has a great solution for this. You can see at the bottom right hand corner, each list has a little template icon and it's the small boxy looking item. When you scroll over the icon, it will say create from template. Click on the icon and all the available templates you have made will be displayed. You can click on one of those options and a small menu will appear. From there, give the new card you're creating a name. Select what you want to keep and then click create card. 
The new card will be created right in the list that you selected. Next, we'll cover how to hide and manage card templates. Now, in this case, you might have template cards all over your board, and maybe you have a team and you don't want people accidentally editing them. So you can also hide your templates. All you have to do to hide a card template is hover over the little stylus icon in the top right corner of the card and click. From there, all you have to do is select hide from list on the menu. Once you click that, then the card template is gone. Now it's not deleted or archived. If you click on the create from template option, you can still select it. Now, if you're looking to manage your card templates, then you can select edit templates and a stylus icon will appear next to each template. You can click on the stylus next to the card you want to edit. Or if you want to delete the card template, you can click on the trash can icon. Let's click on one of the card templates to edit. Now click on the stylus button and the main template card menu will pop up. Let's add another label to the card template. And then from there, you don't have to hit save or anything. Just exit out of the card and all of the changes will be automatically saved. So this is a very easy and quick way to start creating template cards from scratch and managing them. Now let's change gears from card templates to board templates. In many cases, there are other boards that have already been created that you wanna be able to copy into your Trello workspace. So click on the Trello home button on the top left and it will take you to the home screen. From there, you can see the templates button. Click on that and Trello will take you right into the board template library. Now you can see there are a ton of pre-made board templates that can fit any of your needs. Now on the top left-hand side of the board, templates are grouped into different categories like business, marketing, design, and education, just to name a few. If there are specific types of templates that you're looking for, then you can enter them right into the search bar right here. Let's go ahead and click on the project management category. Trello will bring up the most popular project management boards. And now you can scroll down and view all of the template boards available. At the bottom of each template, there is a number to show you how many people use this template and how many people have viewed this template. Let's select one of these templates to show you how fast you can make one of these boards on your own. So let's click on client workflow management and Trello will give you a full breakdown of all the details on the template. You can actually use the scroll bar to see a preview of the board itself to make sure it's something worth adding. From there, click on use template and a small menu will pop up. You can name the new board whatever you like. Then select the workspace you want it to appear in. From there, keep cards and template cards checked and select the create button. Now you can see the new board has been created and it's now your own board. This board has various lists that represent each stage in the client management workflow. For this example, it's for a law firm and attorneys, but it can be easily modified for any business. The first card is new client onboarding. You can change the next list name to team member assigned, from there, you can have the doing list and then you can change on hold to waiting on list. We can change win to complete list. And the final list, you can change that to templates list and start your template over. That way, when you get a new client, you can click create from template icon and your template will pop up. Click on that and then add your new client by entering the client's name. From there, click on create card and the new client has been added. Over time, you can customize this board to your liking with any new list to your workflow or changing the overall appearance. Now, the last thing I wanna to cover today is how to create your own board template. Chances are you have your own board layouts or processes that would be helpful for others on your team or yourself. For example, let's say you run a company that launches new products each year or has certain projects that reoccur each year and you want a specific board for that. Creating your own board template is going to be perfect in this case. So go to your Trello board dropdown in the top left corner and select the board you want to make a template. In this case, I already have created a new product board. So I'll click on that and the board will be displayed. As you can see, I have my entire process outlined with lists and cards. So anytime I want to make a new product, I just have to use this board as a template. Now let's say this is the type of board I want to be able to duplicate. It's something I want team members to use for their own products or clients or really anything. 
Now, every time we want to build our own product or add new clients or really anything like that, I don't want to have to write this out each time or duplicate each list in each card. It's gonna take up way too much time and it's extremely inefficient. So once I have the board in place, all I have to do is click the three dots and a menu will appear. Then click on make template. Now this feature is a premium feature, so you would need a premium subscription to run this model. Click on make template. And then at the top of the board, you will see the button appear that says create board from template. Click on that and the new board is made from the template. Now you or your team can get to work on that new project without having to spend a ton of time setting up a brand new board. I hope those template tips are helpful and you find ways to incorporate them into your workflow. I guarantee adding at least one of these templates to your boards is gonna level up your productivity and ability to build projects faster. Now I have a ton of Trello resources like a course and templates listed in the description below, but if you're still looking to level up your Trello skills, check out this Trello playlist that I put together teaching you all of the Trello basics so you can get more done in less time with less stress. And until next time, stay productive.